Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Linda. And your boy, Stanley. All right, we came back. Yeah, we here. Y'all must have been we praying. Should... Somebody yeah. prayed for me. Fashion praying. <laughs> hey. So, have and have nights, Veronica's house. Before we get started good, we got to do the YouTube thing because that's what they require us to do these days. Yeah. Um, don't forget, if you're not a family member, which means you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it because over here we don't do peeping times very well. If you over here watching, you might as well make yourself known. So go ahead and hit the subscribe subscribe button. Hey. Go ahead and hit the bell to let you know when we drop out exclusive another one. And uh, uh, if you already a family member, y'all know what to do. And y'all know how we gonna get it popping. Yep. And only in a way that we can. Don't forget to rate the video. You can do a thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't even matter. All, All good. I care is that you made it over here. Hey. So, okay. I got to admit right off the bat, <laughs> they got me excited a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little but, bit. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited in reserve. <laughs> you get, you get, yeah. Look who we're dealing with. Yeah. We are dealing with Tyler. Because Tyler, he famous for that to take you way on up. And just and say. drop your way back down to the ground. You thought it was going to be good, but I got you. I got you. So, y'all know last time, like before we um cut for break. And Demonica has showed up to David's house. So she's standing there looking like Malibu Barbie. And she finds this random brick that just happened to be laying yeah, over there like, all on, by man. itself. Come it on, might as well have had a note attached to it that said, hey, pick me up and it, throw me it, through come the door. On. It won't even not nail thing around that house the color of that brick. <laughs> so she picks up the brick and throws it through the glass door. Now, David and Erica sure did make their way upstairs real quick and in a hurry because next thing we know, they're running back down the steps half naked. So they must have been getting it in real quick like. And all of a sudden, here we go with Demonica and her mess. <laughs> you bought her a house? You bought her my house. This is the house that I showed you. This is the house that you told me that we, we couldn't, couldn't afford. afford. And you mean to tell me you got that whore living in this house? David said, Demonica, don't you come up in here with your foolishness. I'm don't gonna, come. I'm going to call it Popo. Because you already are violating your restraining order as it is. Yep. Leave and do not come back. She was like, no, 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 no. No, you told me and you knew I loved this house. You knew this was the house that I wanted. I took and told you, but no, no, no. You told me you couldn't afford it. So they going back and forth, back and forth. David had had enough. So he kind of like shoulder grabbed her a little bit. What'd he do that for? I'm like, don't even touch her. Cause she going she gonna swear God that you, you abusing her. He, he's be, he's beating me. He's beating me. He's be <laughs> I said, so this is what we doing right now, Demonica. Okay. David said, look, I need you to leave and I need you to never return back to this house. She said, no, no, no. What you failing to understand is I took and told you. How am I not going to be able to return to a house that's mine? In my mind, this is my house. And I'll come back here whenever I dag on well, please. I said, oh, Lord, she don't snap. I think. I got doing again. I think she going to try to kill David this season right here. Because they said a whole lot of people going to die. Yeah. Ain't too many people on the show. <laughs> the originals? Yeah. So, they still going back and forth, back and forth. And David told her, said, listen, just go ahead and go. She said, mother bucker. <laughs> you want to put it all out on the line? Is that what you want? Well, let's do it. David says, see, what we're not going to do is uh, make threats around here. She said, when have you ever known me to make a threat? <laughs> I make promises. <laughs> and I will make your life a living God doing hell. I'll be back. I will certainly be back up and around here. And I believe her, and too. And you got that whore living up in there. He closed the door, and she's still standing there like this. <laughs> I said, I'm like, she can reach her hand around, you know, through the glass and... Unlock that bastard and get on one now. So here come Erica. Tyler, you could have did better with this one. Erica go. She's supposed to be calling the police. We ain't never see if that really was the case or not. She said she did. But she running through the house barefoot with um with all that glass all over the place. Whatever. But Erica is. You remember that movie In Too Deep? Erica was like, listen, listen, listen. My ex boyfriend, the abuser. Hmm. I ain't for all this confusion. AKA Quincy. It's Candace. 
in her too. <laughs> Both of them was abusing her. <laughs> so she said, this ain't what I want. I want a nice, peaceful existence right about now. And this ain't what David said. No, no, no. I'm going to take care of it. I'll replace the windows, the door. Let me ask you this right here. <laughs> Do you think Erka is still on her game or oh, she falling for David? I think they're both falling for each other, but she still know that she got she got some money. She got she a got job. That she got, so she got to get Candace out of the way. She got to get Candace out of the way. One way or the other. So then we got Hannah. Hannah is getting ready for her date with Derek. Because y'all know Catherine had already said, hey, we're going to send a glam squad over there. So the glam squad don't got her up and ready. Hmm. And as Benny was saying, you got your 70s wig on, your tight right, red, red dress, Jezebel dress. Say, you ain't going nowhere in that. You know what it remind me of? Because she could barely walk in those heels. Remember on Love and Basketball where he said, you don't trade it in your Nikes yep. for a pair of shoes you can't even walk in. So you in. don't trade it in your church shoes for a pair of shoes you can't even walk in. You're supposed to wear first lady kitten heels. Yeah. You over there trying to act like you grown, Hannah. I didn't like the look on Hannah. I think they should have did like, they should have kept been true to her character where she wears like the natural styles. So they she had, need like, to a, do a better job with that weed they put on. I, 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 they, I think if they did a better job with that, it would have flowed a lot. Do you know who, Cand uh, who that was? Candace in 30 years. Yep. <laughs> Candace in 30 years. I said, okay. So Benny and his feelings, because he ain't feeling, he ain't feeling the look and he ain't feeling the date. He, he don't want no parts of it. He was real rude to Poe Derry, but that's what boys do yep. when it comes to their mama. So ain't nobody paying Benny no goddamn mind to handle, but on her day, had a good old time, you know. So what else happened? Demonica ends up her tail over there at the jail. She goes in there. She's basically giving her son the blues again. Now, he's already broken down. He already is saying, like, can you get me out, baby, please, baby, please? I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll marry Melissa. I'll marry anybody you want. Just please get me out. She gonna look at him and say, you ain't built for this, are you? Look at those lips. You got the right set of lips for the job that needs to got be done down there in prison. Got that buttery skin. I said, Demonica, stop all Come this playing. Come on now. And she was like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to get you out. He was like, what are you talking about? She was like, I turned you over into the system. Before you were processed, that was on me. But now you are at the mercy of the courts. This right here is too big for me. I said, Demonica. I said, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. See, what, whatever happened to the scared straight programs, man? I went. <laughs> yeah, you went. What are those programs? Where it you, worked where, for me? Yeah, when you, get, you walk through there and you know that you're going to be coming out. And you know that when you get out, you don't want to go back. Mentally, you don't know if you're going to make it. I didn't know if I was going to make it. I thought they were going to kill me in there. And I want all that bad, though. Why they send me there? I don't yeah. know. It don't even matter. Yeah, because you was evil, man. I just still am. Man. They wanted to scare the hell out of you, man. It did. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. So, um, Demonica was telling him, like, you know, so if I happen to be able to get you out, are you going to do right? You're going to come home and be that nice, loving husband and father that you're supposed to be, and you're going to leave that girl alone? Well, okay, let's go ahead and rehearse. Where were you that night? Let's go ahead and get start there and get the story straight. She said, you know what? Mm -mm, I ain't even fooling with you because you were with her. He said, I was with him. You were with her. <laughs> I said, we're not doing that. So Demonica went ahead and said, I'm going to try to do what I can do. And she went on and left. Soon as she left, she ran into Justin Timberlake. She was like, hey, girl. And he turned around. I said, did he really answer to did that? Did he respond in front to that? To of the, the, the inmates, inmates? Yeah. And one of his colleagues. She told me some, how was that tape going? He said, what you talking about? He, she said, oh, the tape that's circulating all over the internet, you know. And I'm surprised you still got a job here. He was like, oh, yeah, that's that's cool. That's that. So they going back and forth, back and forth. And Justin said, mm, how's your husband doing? Because <laughs> looks like to me he tra traded in his old lady for a new hottie. She looked uh -huh. at him like, he said, oh, me and your son, we have pillow talk. He's told me some things. Yeah. And we're going to move in together when, when he, he gets, gets out. out. So how about you buy me a woman, a housewoman gift? And that shut her right down. She couldn't even say nothing else about, uh, let me see you do it. So then he started taunting her. And was like, how was that accident? And she uh -huh. said, so, you're trying to imply that you had something to do with the accident? He said, oh, no, who, me? I'm the officer of the law. 
<laughs> don't do that skit. I don't she kiss said, nobody. I save lives. She said, I thought about it. And then I said, hmm, a little dainty princess like you would never be foolish enough to come after a queen like myself. Hmm. You don't have the balls to do it. And he's still looking at her like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But she know now that he really did do yeah, it. Yeah, she know he did it. And he just going, I mean, he just taunted her, just taunting and taunting. Eventually, Demonica said, well, that housewoman get, you all will never get it because he's never going to get out. I say, we back on this bull skit again. So, Benny. Y'all know Benny got the text message. That's right. I forgot all about that. From before the break. From Demonica's phone saying come over to the house, but it really was Melissa. So when he comes to the house, Melissa's standing there. She got on a nice little little um summer dress. And she just started laying it in on him. I I was the one who texted you. He said, How you do that? This, this came from Veronica's phone. He said, She said, Well, I got the phone when she put it down and I texted you to come on over here and finish off the job. He was like, you want me to finish off the job because it's the best you ever had? She was like, it was good, but you sure could have been yeah. better. I said, go ahead and crush his ego. That's how you do it. So. Boo, kid. <laughs> that's what women do, though. So, she's still putting the moves on him. And Benny was like, nah, this ain't right. This ain't right. Melissa said, ain't no way in hell you are attracted to that old head. You need to just stop, quit your plan. He wouldn't say nothing about it either. He wouldn't. And come on over here and get this young thing. When Benny looked like he was going to attempt to leave up out of that house and go back out the way that he came, all of a sudden she opened up her breakaway dress. Uh-huh. She exposed her booby He said, don't do it, don't do it. He said, come, come on, on don't now. Do it. I said, she got you, dog. Jezebel got you, dog. Next day we know she don't climb no top of him and started straddling him right on the god darn couch. And I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Benny said the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She going to come back and catch us. She, Melissa, wanted to get caught. That's what it was. She wanted to get caught. Next thing we know, Demonica comes through the door. Yep. Oh, my God. I can't believe what's going on. That That's guy exactly don't... exactly what Melissa wanted to happen. But did y'all see how Melissa jumped up off of that? <laughs> She jumped off of it so fast, but was laughing her tail. <laughs> she said, oh, you think it's funny? She said, yeah, I think it's funny. Because what she called her, she said, you don't think he wants your old, your old dirty tail? Something uh, that she yeah. said. Demonica said, I'm going to fix you. You're stupid. You're silly. And you're dumb. And you're easily manipulated. I've been controlling you. Your mama get, been controlling you. Hell, even my son at some point was controlling you. No, I'm going to show you how dumb you really are. Why she say that for? That goddamn Melissa grabbed Malibu Bobby by oh, that Freetress equal clip on ponytail. Yes, sir. When I she said went, it's about goddamn time. When she did that motion right here, uh -huh. all I see was finish her. Yep. <laughs> and they it's got about a, God time. She should have been did this. Benny over there like this. I said, Benny, just, 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 just leave. Yeah, just at, this, at this point, she ain't got nothing to lose. Nah, nothing. Her daddy is gone. So I'm like, at this point, you can get her. Yeah. Yeah. So what else happened? Um, Oscar. That guy doing Candace got Oscar <laughs> in the hotel room um, pulling a pill Cosby on him. Because her whole thing is, before we broke, she got the account numbers and passwords to some account numbers. So she noted that this time she got to be able to get into his computer. Yeah. And how else is she going to be able to do it? She got to drug him. So she drugged him. She put something in his own drink. He drank it. He started feeling lightheaded. Roofies. He said, hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. Alan. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, he said, hold he said, on. Wait hold a minute. On. Oh, Candace, you, Candace. Did you put something in my drink? Oh, oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Doof. Lights out. <laughs> I said, that was worse than anesthesia. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't. So Oscar is out. She in the computer. She doing her thug thizzle. And I was like, oh, let's see where this goes and how it's really going to go. Because isn't it Wyatt's account numbers that she got? That mm -hmm. she got? She thinking it's probably Jim's, but I think it's Wyatt's. She don't give a good God. As long as the money is going to transfer. transfer and get that money back. Yeah. So we got Wyatt. Now y'all saw that the parents had went over to Wyatt's house. So they've been waiting for him all for, season for, break. For <laughs> so they over at the house. When Wyatt walks in, he was like, oh, how the hell did y'all get here? Leave. They said we rich. 
We can get in any place we want. I'm like, what that mean? I said, I, I caught that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Message. <laughs> yeah. Like that thing said. So, Jim was like, you know what? We need to talk. We need. We got a situation on our hands. At some point, Jim had got up and was kind of talking to Wyatt face to face, um, chest to chest. And he went and did a, something like this. And he felt that brick of, I think it was, was a coke. Cocaine. The brick of coke that he had on him. He pulls it out of his jacket. Was like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah, you supposed I, I, to be I, I, clean. I'm be clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. I ain't never going back. Catherine was like, "Come on, son. No, no, no. You supposed to be on the right path. And you mean to tell me not only do you got some coke, you got enough coke to supply a whole oh. freaking party right yeah. about now." Yeah. So, Daddy went over there to the sink because his plan was he was gonna cut cut it open. And let it go down the sink and flush it down the sink. Why well, I was like, no, 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 I need that. Evidently, Wyatt had already been doing something. He was hitting the white horse because he was coked out of his goddamn mind. And the next day we know he wrestling with his daddy, trying not to let his his cash cow go, go down, down the, the drain. drain. And Catherine jumped in it and was oh, like, Why does no, she no, no, do no, that no. for? Lord, if I didn't get my giggles it, on. It wasn't funny. Hell it was. No, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny, but it was funny. But it was funny. <laughs> Man, when she jumped in it, why was just a tussling with Jim, tussling with Jim, and he had had enough of fighting him and fighting her, and he turned around and backhand slapped her a walk up. And she slid across that floor. Sweet. <laughs> She slid on her stomach across that goddamn um that goddamn hardwood floors like Shamu do when you go to Sea World when he Ooh. throw that water on you. That's how I know he was high because he would never ever hit Catherine like that. So Jim comes <clears throat> over there to try to figure out. Okay, Catherine, are you okay? Are you, boy, don't you ever put your hands on your mama? Don't you ever touch your mama? Da 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 da. -da, -da. And the next thing we know, he got a vase, a vase. Hanging it over Jim's head, get ready. No, 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 no. Before that, he mommy hit Jim with a bottle too. Yeah, he hit Jim with a bottle. Yep. And then he got, then he got, then he got that that head vase. And he get ready, lights out, rock a bye, baby. I said, uh oh. All right, Tyler. I talk skit, and I'm gonna keep talking skit whenever I got an yeah. applicable moment. But do you think why I gonna hit them with that with that thing? Hell yeah. <laughs> So maybe they're gonna be the first two gonna be dead. They ain't gonna die. They're gonna be in the hospital. But he gonna he gonna have a terrible headache. Cause he done had it with them. But I ain't think he would hit his mama like that though. No. Now I can see him smacking Jim like that. Man, Cause Jim has been the one. She slid across that floor cell. Sorry. <laughs> see what should have happened? They should have made her weak. Come on, man. man. <laughs> I said, looking like strawberry shortcake going across that guy's door flow. And before y'all get in the comments and said ain't funny for for a uh, guy to smack his mama, we not laughing at that part. I don't believe in no circumstance should a boy, a man, or anybody hitting their mama. I don't believe nobody hitting nobody, period. Keep yeah, the guy no, throwing hands yeah. off. But it was funny the way she slid across that day gonna flow though. Yeah, that was freaking <laughs> hilarious to me. Look, and if y'all don't think it's funny, y'all need to get y'all some sense of humor about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> y'all on lungs over here. <laughs> That's why you got too much stress and depression in your life and, and high blood pressure because you don't know I had no fun. Uh-huh, like Bird back used to say, huh, God damn it, I'm gonna say it. God damn it. But anyway. Straight, straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty, dirty self. To up. To down. Holla. Holla.